There are a whole bunch of different liquids out there with claims of being the most expensive in the world, but it's all relative, isn't it? Some of these pricey potions are literal lifesavers, whereas others are fancy fragrances or exorbitant intoxicants. What makes these different kinds of fluids so incredibly sought after that they command such insane prices? From vaccine ingredients that can save billions of lives to the lucrative world of deer pee, here are 20 of the most expensive liquids in the world. Number 20. Horseshoe Crab Blood now, it seems completely improbable, but the blood of the horseshoe crab contains the only known natural source of a substance that's used by the entire pharmaceutical industry in order to ensure the safety of everything from vaccines to artificial joints. The milky blue blood of the horseshoe crab has something called limulus amaboxite lasate, or LAL, and this wonder compound can detect a specific contaminant named endo toxin, which is a toxic bacteria that you really wouldn't want to find in vaccines. That's because it would literally kill people. So this special blue liquid is the only thing that pharmaceutical developers have to check for tiny traces of a killer bacteria in their sterile items. It's incredibly precious. And you know how it goes when something is so precious. It's also incredibly expensive, at $60,000 per gallon to be precise. The pharmaceutical industry has been harvesting the blood of horseshoe crabs for decades, and there are now some serious concerns over the practice. The valuable crustaceans are captured, then relieved of 30% of their blood, all before being returned to the ocean. Up to 600,000 crabs are caught for this purpose every year. But it is having an impact on their population, as you'd probably expect. And although a synthetic version of LAL has been created, it would be best not to bleed this miracle crab into extinction. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Scorpion Venom How do you milk a scorpion exactly? It sounds slightly mad and very, very dangerous as well, but that's what has to be done in order to procure one of the planet's most valuable liquids, scorpion venom. The Death Stalker scorpion is one of the most deadly creatures in the world. Although a single sting from a scorpion is really unlikely to kill a healthy human, it does hurt a whole heck of a lot. So obtaining this stuff is not really for the faint of heart. By milking a scorpion, it's possible to obtain only about 2 milligrams of venom at a time, which is why this particular liquid costs the equivalent of an extraordinary 39 million per gallon. It can actually be purchased in tiny droplets, and a teeny amount the size of a sugar granule is going to set you back about 130 bucks. But why would you even want to milk a venomous scorpion? It seems like a really weird thing to do, but apparently this priceless elixir is actually incredibly useful. It's found its way into all kinds of medicines and breakthrough health treatments for diseases like cancer and bone disease, and the precious liquid may also be part of the fight against malaria. So it does turn out that being able to get a hold of a scorpion and its venom is pretty important. Just mind where you put your fingers. Number 18. Aqua de Cristallo Tributo e Modigliani, the most expensive water in the world. If you thought that buying water at the airport was expensive, then you might need to sit down, because this is the world's most expensive bottled water, and it costs an absurd $60,000. And no, you've not slipped into some sort of alternate universe or a dystopian Mad Max-esque future where there's no water. This is right here and now on the regular old planet we live on. And yes, of course, water is a precious resource and we should not be taking this stuff of life for granted, but $60,000 is really kind of insane. 
But what are we actually talking about? Well, this is a very specific version of the fanciest bottled water. This Aqua di Cristallo is sourced from France, Fiji, and Iceland, and its carbon footprint is spectacularly enormous. It's sprinkled with 23 karat gold dust and presented in a 24 karat gold bottle, all of which definitely makes it much better, I'm sure. The tribute a Modigliani part is on the account of the shape of the bottle, which is modeled on the artist's elongated style. This particularly pricey example would be sold at an auction in order to raise money for combating global warming. And the irony of that really shouldn't escape you. No doubt that the creation and auctioning off of this single bottle of water probably made as much carbon as a small country does per year. Number 17. Royal Fragrance is World's Most Expensive Oh please, if anyone ever wondered if there's such a thing as too much money, then after you hear this one you're going to conclude that yes, there really is. Luxury French label Morale Paris created a bespoke jewel-encrusted golden fragrance bottle containing the most exclusive perfume ever, apparently. The idea is that this is a fragrance for those fancy people. You know, royalty. After all, they do say that it's handcrafted and unique in the same tradition as Fabergé eggs or famous paintings. Essentially, it's rich people stuff. The kind of stuff that doesn't even make sense to mere mortals of serfdom. So how much exactly is a bottle of this Royals Only Smelly Fluid going to set one back? Well, in 2018, these jokers actually presented this exclusive Pong at a fancy and very exclusive Season of Art tour in Los Angeles, and the price tag? Well, only a mere one and a half million dollars a bottle. That's an absolute steal. Number 16. Horse Semen now, perhaps the most disgusting contender for the title of world's most expensive liquid is horse semen. Come again? Yeah, you heard that right. But we're not talking about just any old pony custard here. This has got to be the absolute cream of the crop. Only the most thoroughly thoroughbred equine essence allowed. Turns out that the biggest stars of the horse world have some of the most sought after gentlemen's relish on the planet. Horse botherers with bottomless wallets have been known to pay up to $650,000 for a particularly handsome stallion to spend just a little bit of time with their mare during stud season. A robust stallion can apparently do the deed once a day, so over the course of eight months, that comes to a pretty penny. In the end, all that fancy horse juice is worth the equivalent of $4.7 million a gallon. But you won't find anybody buying this stuff by the bucket load. The horse semen is collected and placed into dainty little containers called straws, each one containing 150 to 200 million sperm cells. And in the weird world of horse breeding, these straws can sell for thousands of dollars. A proven race-winning horse's load can actually demand very high prices, as the investor hopes that a resulting foal will potentially be a race winner itself. Of course, it's a gamble whether the spawn of a race winner will actually be able to come in first place itself. Number 15. King Cobra Venom King cobras are the largest venomous snakes of the world, and although they mainly prey on other snakes and the occasional rodent, they are very dangerous to humans if they do come into contact. A king cobra bite to a person can kill within 30 minutes, so why on earth would people risk death to get a hold of its venom? Well, for the same reason as usual, of course, it all comes down to money. The venom of the king cobra is worth the equivalent of $153,000 per gallon. And people that pay this money are, again, pharmaceutical companies. The venom contains an extraordinarily potent pain-killing property, but obviously, apart from this special protein, the liquid also contains deadly neurotoxins that affect the bite victim's nervous system. These can cause extreme pain, drowsiness, and blurred vision, and then after a short time, you'll fall into a coma and likely die. 
It's a super risky business to extract venom from these snakes. Not only is it extremely tricky and could make you quite dead, in India, where most of these snakes are found, it's also illegal. Snakes are protected by law, and it's illegal to possess the snake or any part of it, which also includes its venom. So a pretty complex smuggling system exists in order to harvest and transport the expensive snake sauce around the world. Number 14. Lysergic Acid Dithlamide, or LSD When LSD would first be synthesized in 1938, there was no immediate indication of its hallucinogenic properties. The discovery that LSD made you trip didn't actually come until 1943. And that discovery would prompt loads of research into the effects of the drug on the brain, resulting in a lot of creepy experiments into the possible mind-altering uses of LSD throughout the 1950s and 60s. During the 60s, the use of the psychedelic drug for recreational purposes became more widespread, and so that's when it was made illegal. Many of the research programs were also ended during this time, but in recent years, there's been a renewed interest in the effects of LSD on numerous illnesses and research has again been taking place, all to discover whether or not they may be a use for this drug in the treatment of diseases like Alzheimer's. This is a drug that is effective when administered in the tiniest droplets. A minuscule 0.00025 grams is enough to cause a human to hallucinate for 12 hours. So a gallon? Well, <laughs> that's inconceivably massive and could apparently give approximately 55,000 people one heck of a trip, but that gallon of acid is also valued at around $123,000. Number 13. Insulin Insulin is essential for human life. Most people produce this hormone in their pancreas, and it's used by the body to control blood sugar levels. But if a person cannot produce insulin, they'll develop type 1 diabetes and will need to inject insulin daily in order to manage their condition, or they'll die. It's not optional, people. So why is this vital liquid that keeps people breathing so very, very expensive? Well, an estimate of insulin prices in 2016 suggests that a gallon of the indispensable stuff actually costs about $9,400. Wipe the top of the insulin bottle with alcohol swab. Remove the cap from the needle. But since then, insulin prices in the United States have continued to actually rise. And what people actually have to pay varies widely from state to state, also depending on what kind of health care coverage they have or don't. Some people being given the option of paying $2,880 per month or simply kicking the bucket. That's a great choice, right? There are many excuses that have been chucked around about the reasons for these insane prices, but despite the allegedly complicated nature, the real cause is actually pretty simple. It all comes down to profit. It always is, isn't it? One way or another, poorly regulated insurance companies and the pharmaceutical industry are making a fortune off the price gouging of insulin. These unscrupulous entities are profiting from the fact that they hold the power over life and death. What this insane price actually means is that people end up dying, and they die because they can't afford to stay alive. Number 12. Chanel Number 5. The most famous fragrance brand in the world, and the original perfume that's produced by Chanel in 1922, is Chanel No. 5. It's up there amongst the most expensive liquids in the world, although when you're stuck in an elevator with someone who's drenched in it, it might smell like they've doused themselves in a gallon of the stuff. That's quite unlikely, as it would probably set them back a tidy sum of $26,000. It's pretty pricey for a pong that can make your toes curl, but back in the day, this might have been the bee's knees or the cat's pajamas or whatever the old-timey way of saying good was. However, if you want to smell like you're a nan or the stinkiest part of the department store, then good for you. Otherwise, this is a really expensive bottle of liquid that's more about marketing than anything else. Even if Marilyn Monroe did make a famous quip that she only wore Chanel No. 5 to bed, this is basically the classic old lady smell. Everyone's heard of the perfume, but it also smells like everybody's grandmother. That is, unless she smells like she's peed herself. Number 11. 
Mercury Mercury is the only metal that is a liquid at room temperature and standard pressure. It's been used to make thermometers and other medical equipment. However, mercury vapor is actually toxic if people are exposed to it on the regular, so its uses are really kind of limited. Even so, the weird fluid metal actually commands a per gallon price of $3,400. Mercury doesn't usually exist naturally in its pure liquid form. It has to be found in the form of mercury sulfide, also known as cinnabar, either red in color or black. This material can be converted into mercury by roasting the mercury sulfide or by using a chemical solution and aluminum in order to remove the mercury from the mixture. Mercury causes chemical reactions in other elements and is often used as a means of extracting or creating reactions between substances. For example, it's used to extract precious metals like gold from gold ore and to make dental fillings. Although mercury metal is less toxic than its reputation, there are biological mercury compounds that are super deadly and can literally kill within a few seconds, or some that gradually accumulate in the body over time and create a slower and longer death. Nice. In the past, mercury was actually put into medicine in an effort to treat all kinds of illnesses, from constipation to syphilis. These cures often turned out to be deadly and resulted in the demise of many unfortunate people. But I guess if the alternative is your nose falling off, then the risk of being made dead by mercury is really less of a concern. Number 10. Printer Ink now, if you've ever had to buy ink cartridges for a printer, then you already know how expensive that can be. But as it turns out, printer ink is amongst the priciest fluid on the planet, estimated at between $1,664 and $9,600 per gallon. This mind-boggling amount is basically the result of an upside-down profit-driven industry. But apparently, the companies that make printers are actually selling them at a loss. Although they're no doubt made in places where there's very little worker protection and likely not substance wages, but who can say? And so they're looking to make their profits in other parts of the process. A printer is clearly completely useless without its ink, and voila, there's a way to make your profit. And boy, do they ever. Inkjet cartridges were the subject of a consumer investigation in 2013, and it was then established that the ink inside a cartridge actually costs between $13 and $75 per ounce. That's as much as some of the fanciest designer fragrances, and ink doesn't even smell pretty. Number 9. GHB now, if you haven't heard of GHB, you may know it by its lesser name of Rufi. Well, that's what this is most famous for, although its original use was as an anesthetic in medicine. GHB is a nervous system depressant that's been used for treating medical conditions and for recreational purposes, as well as being used in the aforementioned way to violate people against their consent. So, mixed reviews for the liquid, which can also appear in a powder form as well. With a price of $2,500 per gallon, the stuff is not really as expensive as some of the other liquids on our list, but whether it's created in a lab for medical use, or by mixing up a whole load of disgusting chemicals like drain cleaner and who knows what else, all in order to extract the active substance, GHB does a whole lot of weird stuff to the brain and body. This can get pretty toxic, so you don't really want to try it at home. Number 8. Henry IV Dudonian Heritage Cognac Now here's another one for the mega rich and clueless to chuck their money at. Remember that ridiculously expensive bottle of water from earlier? Well, this cognac is in a bottle that's designed by the same artist who's responsible for that. He's onto a winner here. And while there are seemingly umpteen, obscenely rich people out there with more money than cents, this could be a real money spinner, or not. Because are people really that daft? The most expensive cognac in the world is Henry IV's Dudonian Heritage Cognac. Presented in a 24 karat gold and sterling platinum dipped bottle, which has been decorated with 6,500 brilliant cut diamonds, and for all that, you only get 100 centiliters of cognac. You know, the regular amount. 
However, the bottle is very, very shiny, so it must be good, right? Well, they reckon that it's so good that it costs a million pounds. That's right, one million British pounds. That's more than 1.4 million dollars. A veritable bargain. No, you know, just give me three of them right now. Number 7. Patchouli Essential Oil Extracting the essential oil from any plant takes a whole load of effort and complicated machinery. All that squeezing and distilling and all sorts of things that patchouli oil is really no different. Patchouli is a plant that's an aromatic herb native to Southeast Asia. The process to extract the oil involves drying out the leaves and stems and then using steam distillation in order to remove the valuable essential oil. This oil is used throughout the world in all kinds of fragrant products from perfumes to laundry detergent. And during the 1960s and 70s, hippies went absolutely nuts for the fragrance. And it's still sometimes associated with that era. But nowadays, there's still a great demand for patchouli essential oil, and it reaches prices of about $605 per gallon. Those crusty old hippies would have to dig around down in the side of the couch for a whole lot of loose change to slop this stuff around like they used to back in the day. Number 6. Human Blood now, I don't know about you, but I think my blood is literally priceless. I wouldn't be without it. But then again, we've all got blood. And there are like 8 billion people walking around, all filled up with the stuff. So what exactly makes it valuable, except to the individual to whom the blood actually belongs? In the United States, blood is actually big business. Not because of an underground network of vampires like you see in the Blade movies, but that would be interesting. The way that it actually works is that blood banks are run as businesses, buying blood from donors and then processing that blood to make it safe and then selling it on to customers. So just how much is a pint of blood even worth? Well, that depends. If you look at the general cost of a gallon of blood, although that is a lot, and if you donate that much, you're going to die, it averages about $1,500. But then blood is often not sold just as a single unit. Blood contains both red blood cells and white ones, as well as plasma and platelets. And all these different parts have different uses in the medical world and can be sold separately, which adds up to a whole lot more. Red blood cells in one donation can sell for $229, platelets go for $300, and plasma for $40. Who knew that you were walking around with all that cash just floating in your veins? Best to keep it on your insides, though. These blood banks have to spend a flipping fortune to make that blood so clean and valuable. Number 5. The Most Expensive Nail Polishes in the World now hopefully this nail polish just doesn't get all gloopy and dry out like all the regular nail polish. Some genius actually had the idea that the thing that was wrong with nail polish was that it simply didn't have enough diamonds or gold and they went about creating Gold Rush. A nail polish which looks a whole lot like the normal stuff but is insanely expensive. Beginning with the bottle which has a lid that's made out of gold, and really why not? That seems pretty perfectly reasonable, right? You then add the lightest sprinkling of diamonds, 1118 to be exact, and well, that's about it. You can have the shiniest fingers in town, all for the bargain price of $130,000. So this was the most expensive nail polish. That was until some other prize plum came along and decided that they could do better. Well, for more money anyway. I mean, why have regular diamonds when you can have black diamonds? 267 carats of black diamonds, all stuffed into some gloop and bunged up in a bottle. And it'll only set you back a minuscule $250,000. My fingertips simply can't live without it. Number 4. Diamalfe Limoncello Supreme Now here's the thing. You can stick basically anything in a bottle. Pizza sauce, pony custard, <laughs> whatever you want. But if you stick a bloody great diamond on it, well, it's going to get expensive. And that's exactly what these bright sparks did. Because it's not rocket science. Diamonds are shiny and expensive. And rich people will seemingly buy literally any old spam if you put enough diamonds on it. 
So this bottle of liquor, well, it's actually nothing much to behold or probably drink, but it does taste like yellow medicine, and then again, maybe that's just me. The Italian booze makers and Tisa distillery, Russo, got together with some designer named Stuart Hughes who likes sticking diamonds on stuff. And that's when they made the world's most exclusive and expensive liqueur. Only two bottles would ever be created. One was made for a mysterious secret woman in Italy, and the other can be yours for a measly price of $43.6 million. ka -ching. Number 3. Cone Snail Venom a slow-moving snail with carnivorous tendencies needs a ruthlessly efficient system to stop their prey from wandering off. Enter the cone snail. It's developed one of the deadliest and most effective poison delivery techniques on the planet. The venom that a cone snail uses can paralyze its prey almost instantly. That's really scary. The cone snail also has a very particular way to get the poison into its prey. They have a kind of harpoon-like tooth, which they fire out of their front, and it pokes into their victim, delivering a deadly toxic cocktail. It's brutally efficient. Oddly, though, scientists have discovered that certain isolated parts of the toxic combination may actually have some huge medical possibilities as painkillers. Apparently, it contains something that's more powerful at numbing pain than morphine, and has the added benefit of being non-addictive. So everybody ends up being a winner. Except maybe the drug companies or the cone snails, but still, yay for pain relief. Now I'm not sure exactly how you actually convince a cone snail to deposit its specimen neatly into a container, because are these guys exactly known for being compliant? Well, good luck with that, scientists. Keep milking those mollusks. Number two. Deer urine. Now, when I grow up, I want to be a urine farmer. Said by nobody ever. But that's an actual job that's done by an actual person, and they make a whole lot of money doing it. I smell money and <laughs> maybe something else as well. Collecting the urine from animals like deer, urine farmers gather the stinky substance to be used as a lure by hunters. Often, the collectors work on farms where the animals are kept and then brought inside at night. This is where the magic happens. The floor of the stable or barn where the creatures are kept has a lot of little tiny holes for the pee to drip through. It's then collected underneath the floor in big containers, and as long as the collector gathers at least a gallon of deer pee in a shift, the precious liquid is then packed up and refrigerated before being sold. Ew! But this rank fluid, when made into neat little sanitized spray bottle stink, can retail at about $13 an ounce. Which is nothing to be sniffed at when you consider that the average deer pee is about half a gallon a day. Now, math isn't really my strong suit, but that could equate to over $300,000 per deer per year. Although you can't gather all of the deer's pee all the day long, so it does cut down on the cash a little, but by collecting a bit of pee from a lot of deer, you can still net a pretty whiffy penny. Now, that is some valuable tinkle. Number 1. Coral Snake Venom These pretty colored jazzy pattern reptiles are interesting for a couple of reasons. First, they fart when they're surprised, a bit like your grandmother. It's really hilarious. Or it would be if it weren't for the other interesting thing about the coral snake, they're also insanely deadly. These snakes are the proud owners of the second most deadly venom of any snake on earth. The only more venomous is the black mamba. And the only reason that the coral snake's venom is considered less dangerous than those badasses known as the black mamba is that the coral snake has a weaker bite, a set of flimsy fangs, and that must be a little bit embarrassing. Their feeble little pricks can barely pierce human skin, let alone a leather boot. If they do bite you though, and can squeeze enough of their venom out, because apparently that's a little bit of a struggle for them as well, then you can expect to get some nasty symptoms and you're going to need an ambulance stat. So why is this stuff so sought after? Well, like other venoms, it has weirdly helpful properties all hiding inside of all that poisonous deadly stuff. The coral snake's venom is actually believed to have an antiviral and antibacterial property to it and is used in a whole bunch of medical stuff. 
just don't go dabbing it on your boo-boos because that's not how science works. So before you rush off to liquidate your assets, have you had a change of career plan after hearing about these weird money-making fluids? Some of the stuff's amazing, but some of it has the distinct flavor of a grift. Stick a diamond on it, and then you can sell it for a million bucks? Where's all my junk? Be sure to leave your comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.